Hey guys, Philosopher here, and today I'm talking about this Agatha Harkness event. And I'm sure that all of you have noticed that this is basically a giant offer disguised as an event. And if you do the look at the scoring system here, you get four points for spending power cores. <clears throat> you need 65,000 points. Uh, I'm going to confess to you that I'm not amazing at math. <clears throat> In fact, I, I, the reason I make YouTube videos and I practice law as my main job is because I'm not good at math. If I was good at math, I'd build like rocket ships or something. But you don't have to be a rocket scientist to realize that this is a very expensive offer. In fact, if you go here to this thing and you do the math, I think from my calculations that it's about 200 bucks. That's a lot of money. So view this as basically a $200 offer and you could just evaluate it compared to the other offers in the store. Uh, my view is that most of these right now are not worth it. Uh, this is just trying to take advantage of people panicking for the scourge event. And I will just say that if this surprises you, if it upsets you, you just have to realize this is the direction that Scopely is taking the game. The entire game right now is just becoming more and more and more expensive. It has over the, you know, I've been playing this game now um, a little bit over two years and it has become much more expensive. It used to be you needed one team for all game modes. You could just build one team for your raids uh, not not four different teams, and you could use that same team in the arena. <laughs> and so, um, you know, now we need all these, uh, not only arena teams, but instead of having um, one team, let's say, for a legendary to unlock a legendary, now you basically have to have your whole roster built up. In my view, if you're going to be wailing on stuff, wail on energy. You know, instead of getting the 500s, excuse me, instead of getting just the 50 core refreshes, get, you know, if you're going to wail on something, wail on power cores to get the 100 core refreshes. Sometimes there are reasonable uh, offers in here for energy. Depends on the day. That That is what I would wail on. And I would hoard all of my resources for the next Scourge event. We don't know what teams you're going to need. We don't know what the restrictions are going to be. They're not going to tell us until a few days beforehand. And, and and you realistically aren't going to know till you get in the nose which teams are tough or which nodes are tough or not, right? Now we know in this particular Scourge event that you need Web Warrior super high, that Dark Hunters aren't as important, and that, you know, for a lot of mid-game players, they need certain villains, they need certain global or whatever. We won't know until the next Scourge event what those teams are. So my advice to you is, except the fact that you're going to get a low star Morgan, excuse me, low star Agatha Harkness, unless you spend a lot of money here, you know, make a decision for yourself logically. So, you know, you know, in the future, for example, for 35 bucks, you can get 50 shards of her or whatever it is. Like if you're going to spend $200, you may just want to buy six of those offers, right? Make a logical decision, uh, you know, a rational decision for yourself of, whether you want to spend a bushel of money on this game or not, and just enjoy the game for what it is or not. <laughs> but don't, you know, the reality is that Scopely is super aware that we don't like the direction their game is going and they don't care. So I'm just <laughs> going to be honest with you about that. And so just you have to accept that and recognize this event for what it is. Don't go crazy. Don't blow a bunch of milestones just because you hate seeing or. Uh, you hate seeing something incomplete. This is not like your house where you need to have everything in order. You don't get anything, any joy in your life from completing these milestones. It's purely an offer. And the reason they're doing this instead of making a $200 offer is because they've discovered that some of you just can't help yourself. So, you know, get some self-control and just try to be as rational as possible about approaching this character who is certainly needed for the dark for the dark hole team is super important for the match in arena but ultimately you know this isn't even the most cost effective way to unlock her all right guys i i don't i don't like this video so do what you're gonna do if you want to uh, like and uh, like the video subscribe to the channel you can if not that's fine 
Um, if you're angry at me, you think my, my comments suck, that's fine. You can put it below. If you're happy, you can put it below too. If not, go to my Discord. We actually have great constructive conversations there about theory crafting and so on. You can go there. That's linked below. You can also go to my Twitch stream, which is where I make these videos. That is linked below too.